Hello friends this web's lesson video tutorial based on Angular JavaScript, and in this tutorial we will learn how to submit form data by using Angular JavaScript with validation using PHP script. We all know how to submit form data by using jQuery but we have not covered how to submit form data with Angular JavaScript with simple required field validation by using PHP script. For learn this topic we will make simple form for submit first name and last name data, so when we have click on submit button then form will be submitted then at that time we will use Angular JavaScript and create form data object and by using HTTP POST method we will send object to server script and it will process our form data and send back response. This is our testing database and in this we have one user table with three table column like id, first name and last name. We will insert form data under this table. This is our index page and under this page we have include bootstrap style sheet link and angular javascript link. By putting this link we can use functionality of both the library under this page. Now we have moved to write HTML code so first we have write division tag with attribute ng app directive is equal to my app. This directives will define Angular JavaScript application. After this we have write ng controller directive is equal to form controller. This directive will define the controller. Under this tag we want to create HTML forms so we have write form tag with attribute name is equal to user form. Then after under this form we want to create text box for enter first name, so we have write input type is equal to text with attribute name is equal to first name and ng model directive is equal to first name. This directive is used to bind the value of input to a variable created in Angular JavaScript. After this we have create text box form last name, so we have write input type is equal to text with attribute name is equal to last name and ng model directive is equal to last name. Under this form we want to create submit button, so we have write input type is equal to submit with attribute name is equal to insert and value is equal insert. So when we have click on this button form will be submitted. So when form has been submit then after form data should be submitted, under form tag we have add one ng submit directive is equal to insert data function. This directive will run this function at the time of form submit. Now we have moved to write Angular JavaScript code. Here we have defined application variable is equal to angular.module method with two argument. In first argument we have write our application name which is my app and in second argument we have write blank array. Here we have create module by using angular javascript function like angular.module. After this we want to add a controller in our application which we have defined under ng controller directive. So we have write application variable dot controller method with two argument. In first argument we have write controller name form controller and in second argument we have write function with two argument like dollar scope and dollar http. Here dollar scope is the binding part between HTML view and JavaScript controller and dollar HTTP is an Angular JavaScript service for reading data from remote servers. After this we want to create a blank object to handle form data, so we have write dollar scope dot insert is equal to blank, this will create blank form data object. Now we want bind form value with this blank object. We have go to first name text box and here in ng model directive we have write insert first name and same way we have write under last name text box ng model directive. This way we can bind form field value under this insert object. 
Now we want to create insert data function, so we have write dollar scope dot insert data is equal to function. This way we can define function in Angular JavaScript. Under this function first we have write dollar HTTP service for send data to remove server. Under this first we have write method is equal to post, so we have use post method for send data to server. In second option we have write URL and it is set to insert do PHP. Here we have send request to insert dot PHP page. In third option we have write data option and under this option we have write dollar scope dot insert object. This is form insert object in which we have bind form data. Lastly we have write success callback function. This function has been called after completing a request successfully and it will receive data from server. Under this function we will write code after write PHP code in insert.php. So we have go to insert.php page. On this page first we have make database connection. So we have write dollar connect variable is equal to miscly connect function with for argument. In first argument host set to localhost, username set to root, password set to blank and database name set to testing. After this we want to get form data and decode into JSON so we have write dollar form data is equal to JSON decode function and under this function we have write file get contents function and under this function we have write PHP input. This function will get form contents in JSON format and by using JSON encode function we have convert into PHP object and store into dollar form data variable. Now we have defined two variable like dollar data variable and dollar error variable with array data type. In dollar data array we will store error or success message and in dollar error array variable we will store error. After this we want to check first name text box has some value or not, so we have write of statement and under condition we have write empty function and under this function we have write dollar form data with object first name. This condition will check first name text box has some value or not, if it is blank then it will execute if block of code. So under this block we have write dollar error first name variable is equal to first name is required error message. This way we have store error message for first name under dollar error first name variable. Same way for check last name text box is blank or not. So we have write of statement and under condition we have write empty function and under this function we have write dollar form data with object last name. This condition will check last name text box has some value or not, if it is blank then it will execute if block of code. So under this block we have write dollar error last name variable is equal to last name is required error message. This way we have store error message for last name under dollar error last name variable. So this way we have store error messages under dollar error variable. Now we want to check this variable has some value or not. So we have write of statement and under condition we have write not empty function and under this function we have write dollar error variable. This condition will check if dollar error variable has some value then it will execute if block of code otherwise it will execute else block of code. Suppose dollar has some value then it will execute if block of code and under this block we have write dollar data error variable is equal to dollar error variable. Here we have store all data of error variable into dollar data error variable. But suppose dollar error variable have blank value then it will execute else block of code and under this block we have create two variable like dollar first name and dollar last name and in both variable we have store clear string of first name and last name text box by using miss clear real escape string function. After clean the string now we want to insert into user table. So we have write dollar query variable is equal to insert into user table with table column like first name and last name with values like dollar first name variable and last name variable.
Now we want to execute this insert query, so we have write of statement and under condition we have write miscly query function with two argument. In first argument we have write dollar connect variable and in second argument we have write dollar query variable. If it will successfully execute this query then it will execute if block of code and under this block we have write dollar data message variable is equal to data insert. So this way we have store error and success has been store into dollar data variable. Now we want to send this data to insert data success function. So we have write echo statement with JSON encode function and under this function we have write dollar data variable. This function will convert data value into JSON string and send to success function. So our insert.php page code is complete so we have go success function and here we have write of statement and under condition we have write data.error. This condition will check if dollar data error variable has some value then it will execute if block of code otherwise it will execute else block of code. Suppose dollar data error variable has some value then it will execute if block of code we have write dollar scope dot error first name is equal to data dot error dot first name. Here we have store error message for first name text box under the dollar scope error first name. Same for last name text box error. So we have write dollar scope dot error last name is equal to data dot error dot last name. Here we have store error message for last name text box under this dollar scope dot error last name. Now we want to display this error message below first name and last name text box. So for first name text box error message, below text box we have write span tag with class is equal to text danger with ng show directive is equal to error first name. This ng show directive shows the specified HTML element is the expression evaluates to true otherwise the HTML element is hidden. That means when error first name has some value then this tag will show. Now we want to show error message which we have store under error first name, so between this span tag we have write two time open curly brackets and between this we have write error first name. This will display error message for first name text box. Same way for display error message below last name text box. So below this text box we have write span tag with class is equal to text danger with ng show directive is equal to error last name. So when error last name has some value then this tag will be show error message and for display error message we have write two time open curly bracket and between bracket we have write error last name. So it will display error message regarding last name text box. Now we have go to JavaScript success function else block will execute if dollar data error has not value. So under this block we have write dollar scope dot insert object is equal to null. This code will clean all form fields like first name and last name text box. After this we want to clear error message of first name and last name text box. So for clear first name text box error message we have write dollar scope dot error first name is equal to null. This will clear first name text box error. Same way for clear error of last name text box so we have again write dollar scope dot error last name is equal to null. This will clear last name text box error. Lastly we have write dollar scope dot success insert is equal to data dot message. This will display form data successfully insert message on web page. So for display this success message here we have defined one label with attribute class is equal to text success with ng show directive is equal to success insert. So when dollar date message has some value then this label element will be visible on web page. And for display success message, so between this label tag we have write two times open curly bracket and between this we have write success insert. So it will display success insert message on web page after successfully data has been inserted into database. 
so our code is ready so we have saved this code on check output in browser. Friends you can see when page has been loaded then you can see one simple form has been visible on web page with two text box like first name and last name with insert submit button. Here first we have directly click on insert button then you can see error message like first name is required and last name is required error message below both text box. After this we have enter Peter in first name text box and directly click on insert button then you can see first name is required error has been removed from first name text box but last name is required has been still below last name text box. So we have right Parker under last name text box and click on insert submit button. So after clicking on insert button we can see data inserted message has been appear on above the form. Now we want to check data is inserted into user table or not. So we have to PHP my admin page. Un is working on how to submit form data by using Angular JavaScript with validation by using PHP script. If you like this video tutorial please share this video with your friends or even you can also share on social media also. If you have any query regarding this video tutorial, please comment your query under comment box with source code on which you have query. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube video channel for get more update regarding our video tutorial and lastly thank you for watching this video, we will be meet in next video.